So now let's dive in into recording. So you can see here that I already have my webcam set up and my character is here. So now let's see how we can start recording it. So while you're recording it, you can go on to these control section right here. And here there are a lot of shortcut keys, as you can see, like four, like five and six and so forth. So all of these can be used to change the pose of the character right here. Let's say, for example, if I were to go over here and press P, you can see that the hand changes out. If I were to press O right here, it's back onto the same position. So let's just record it out and see how everything works like. Hello and welcome to this tutorial series on Character Animator. So what this uh, is, is really um, intuitive way of working around with the program right over there. And then sometimes it can be surprising, sometimes it can be uh, really hard, but overall the final result will be really, really uh, great, just like that. And so what we can do is we can go work around with different poses right here. Like I can go around, move my hands right here with the, the mouse click, or I can use my keyboard right over here as well, just like that. I can work around with the scale of the character. I can work around with the position of the character right here. And I can work around with the positions right over here as well, just like this. And you can see my hair move as well. So that is how everything works out. So let us just stop recording now. And what happens is that it has stopped recording. So I can just play through what I have on the timeline. These are the recordings and all of the poses that is there. So all of it has been recorded. So if I were to play this out, you can hear uh, and see the character in animation. Series on character animator. So what this uh, is, is really um, intuitive way of working. And that is how you basically work around and record your animations inside of Character Animator and use the controls and keyboard shortcuts to have different poses and use the sliders to uh, make the character do things in real time. So that is how you can immediately start recording and work with the character controls inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.